Ford's micro SSTC circuit. It's slightly modified. Um, on his circuit, he's basically just got the gate driver and a little triple five timer that just constantly puts out, you know, somewhere like a 300 kilohertz frequency to uh, make sure the oscillation keeps going in the coil. What I did here was just sort of make a hybrid of of this circuit and um, the uh, half bridge. So I've just got a little Schmidt trigger here and I'm using that to uh, clean up the signal going into the gate driver. And the way this is set up I've just got this little, you know, you got power in here and this is where your coil goes but I've just made this little terminal here to where it seems like it can work either way. My half bridges work about like that. I don't really need to add resistors or anything like that. Um, it just sort of works. Um, so I could put an antenna right here basically just uh, you know plug a wire in this terminal here and just stick it up and it'll work like that or what I've of, often done is use a feedback transformer so I could just plug a feedback transformer in there and then you know run the bottom of L2 out to ground and it, it what should work about the same you see here's Steve Ward's half bridge set up or driver you can see it's basically just a mod of that same thing um, here I've got the the, the uh, Schmidt trigger. There's two gate drivers here. This is this one's actually set up to use two uh, non-inverting gate drivers, and I'm just using one of the inverted outputs on the hex inverter to drive that properly. I had trouble finding the proper uh, gate driver, so that's that's two uh, two seven three two twos on there. But you can see it's pretty much the same deal. This is almost the same circuit, except just you know literally just one gate driver instead of two. This primary I've actually got, I don't even know, <laughs> I'm not sure why that's on there, I'm pretty sure I was using it for um, wireless transfer, using this as a receiver. But just to show, you can see it's uh, not grounded. This is the antenna. And just I can just kind of take it as like, you know, drop it down. But, uh, not bad. It's nothing uh, mind-blowing, you know. But pretty good output. And you can see it. At certain times, based on where the antenna is, it kind of struggles here and there. It's trying to find itself, but for the most part, I mean, it's no big deal. Whoops. I could sort of get similar output just from a straight, you know, Solar Exciter using a single transistor. Um, but at the same time, this is this circuit's pretty cool because I can pretty much just throw any random coil uh, on there. Uh, you know, this one's about 700 so kilohertz. Throw something larger, smaller on there, and it'll still drive it pretty good. So that's why I like this circuit.